the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology, commonly referred to as SD Mines, Tech, or SDSM and T, is a public institution of higher learning in Rapid City, South Dakota, governed by the South Dakota Board of Regents. Founded in 1885, the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology offers bachelor's, master's and doctoral degrees. The university enrolls 2,778 students with a student-to-faculty ratio of 15 to 1. The SD Mines placement rate for graduates is 96%, with an average starting salary of $63,000. The school athletic teams are called the Hardrockers. View the SD Mines virtual tour and the online viewbook. Topic history The cornerstone of the first School of Mines, then known as the Dakota School of Mines, building was dedicated on August 19, 1885, with the first classes being held February 21, 1887. John W. Hancher received the first Bachelor of Science degree at the first commencement on May 31, 1888. The school became known as the South Dakota School of Mines in 1889 after admission of South Dakota as a state to the United States. The School of Mines presented exhibits during the 1904 World's Fair and the first licensed radio station in the state of South Dakota was established on campus in December 1911, a full decade before WCAT, the precursor of the current campus station KTEQ-FM. The first M Day homecoming celebration occurred on October 5, 1912 with the construction of the M on M Hill, the school's mountain monogram. The school's ROTC battalion was formed in 1918 in response to World War I. The football stadium began construction in 1931 and was completed as O'Hara Field in 1938. The school formally became the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology in February 1943. In September 2012, SDSM and T made national news when Bloomberg announced that it had passed Harvard in the category of starting salaries for graduates. On September 19, Tech President Drive Robert A. Wharton died due to complications of cancer treatments. During the presidential search, Dwayne Chrncir was the interim president. On April 25, 2013, the School of Mines announced that Heather Wilson will become the first female president in the school's 128 year history, starting in June 2013. Academics <laughs> <laughs> Mines offers degrees in more than 16 engineering and science fields, as well as 12 master's degree programs and 7 doctorate programs. Topic. Campus The campus is located on the eastern side of Rapid City, on the northern slope of small foothills of the Black Hills. South Dakota Tech currently has three residence halls, Connolly Hall, Palmerton Hall, and Peterson Hall. Connolly was built in the 1940s, Palmerton in the 1960s, and Peterson Hall in 2004. The three combined can house up to 660 students on campus after completion of Peterson Hall, March Hall and Dake Hall both built in the 1950s were demolished in 2006 to make room for additional parking. The Apex Gallery is located in Classroom Building 211, and hosts a new exhibit every four to six weeks. The gallery hosts contemporary works of artists and scientists, many of whom are nationally and internationally recognized. <laughs> <laughs> Museum of Geology Opening the same year as the school, the Museum of Geology collects, conserves, curates, interprets, and exhibits paleontologically, mineralogically and geologically significant objects and serves as the repository for such objects from South Dakota and the Northern Great Plains. The public exhibits of the museum have been housed since 1944 in second floor of the then newly completed O'Hara Building, while the preparation laboratories and collections are held in the James E. Martin Paleontology Center, constructed in 2009. Topic. Student organizations Active fraternities on campus include Alpha Chi Sigma, Delta Sigma Phi, Lambda Chi Alpha, Theta Tau, and Triangle. Sororities include Alpha Delta Pi, and Alpha Omega Epsilon. Student government organizations include the Student Association Senate. Student media organizations include KTEQ-FM, the campus radio station, and The Aurum. The campus newspaper, formerly known as The Tech, and then The Raver. The Aurum. 
is the original name of the school newspaper, first published in November, 1901. The newspaper changed its name back to The Aurum in January 2010. The campus radio station, KTEQ, was started in 1922 as a low-powered AM station, left the air in 1955, and returned as the FM station KTEQ in 1971 and airs a freeform programming format, Amplify College Ministries, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, InterVarsity Christian Fellowship, Lutheran Campus Ministry, the Newman Center, and United Campus Ministries are some of the many Christian and religious groups operating on campus. Service organizations on campus include Circle K and Gamers for Service. Topic athletics The SDS M&T athletic teams are called the Hardrockers, coming from its mining background. The history of the athletic program stretched back to 1895 when the first school football team formed, originally named the Longhairs. The school hosts a variety of college sports which include, football, basketball, volleyball, track, cross country, golf, and men's soccer. The athletic mascot name is Grubby the Miner. The school is a member of the NCAA and competes at the Division II level. The school joined the Division II Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference in January 2014 for the majority of its sports, except for men's soccer which joined the Great Northwest Athletic Conference GNAC for men's soccer in 2013 and football beginning in 2014. SDS M&T completed the transition for Manaya to NCAA in July 2013. The Hardrockers, formerly a member of the NAIA's Dakota Athletic Conference. On January 20, 2014, SDS M&T has accepted an invitation to join the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. Topic Notable staff Prior to 1897, the head of SDS M&T held the title of Dean rather than President. Earl D. Dake served as acting president from 1947-1948 and 1953-1954. Dr. Dwayne Chrncir served as acting president from 2012-2013 following the death of Dr. Robert A. Wharton. Topic. Deans Dr. Franklin R. Carpenter 1886-1889 George F. Duck 1889-1890 Samuel Cushman 1890-1891 Dr. William P. Hedden, 1891-1893. Dr. Hon. Walter P. Jenny, 1893. Dr. Valentine T. McGillicuddy, 1893-1897. Topic: Presidents. Dr. Robert L. Slagle, 1898-1905. Dr. Charles H. Fulton, 1905-1911. Dr. Cleophas C. O'Hara, 1911-1935. Dr. Joseph P. Connolly, 1935-1947. Dr. Warren E. Wilson, 1948-1953. Fay L. Partlow, 1954-1966. Dr. Harvey R. Fraser, 1966-1975. Dr. Richard A. Skluzner, 1975-1987 Dr. Richard J. Gowan, 1987-2003 Dr. Charles P. Roosh, 2003-2008 Dr. Robert A. Wharton, 2008-2012 Dr. Heather A. Wilson, 2013-2017 Dr. James M. Rankin, 2017-present Topic other notable staff Ernest Allmendinger, football head coach 1914, William Arbogast, director of the Advanced Materials Processing and Joining Center 2001-2009 Marge. Dr. Haley Armstrong, head of the music department 2016 present, Dr. Philip R. Bjork, geology and paleontology professor 1975-2000, William Phipps Blake, originally offered position of first dean Gary Boner, longest serving 1971-1989 and winningest football head coach at SDS M&T Josh Boyer, football defensive coordinator 2005, Dr. Wendell E. Dunn Jr., adjunct professor of metallurgy, minus 2007, Ray D. Hahn, men's 
basketball head coach 1930 to 1935 and football head coach 1929 to 1934 Dan Kratzer football head coach 2005 to 2011 ERV Mont football head coach 1990 to 1994 Dr Willard Lincoln Roberts geology professor 1923 to 1987 and namesake of Robertsite Dr. Walter A. Rosenblith, physics professor, 1943 to 1947; Dave Strong, football head coach, 1941, and men's basketball head coach, 1941–1942; Dr. Jack Wayland, author and physics professor, minus 1971; Dr. John Wesley Willard, professor of chemistry, 1950s to 1960s; Dr. Gerald W. Wolf, adjunct professor of history, 1996 to 1999. Topic Notable alumni James Aborake, former U.S. Representative and U.S. Senator from South Dakota, and the first Arab American to serve in the U.S. Senate. D. Sherwin Artis, Director and former CEO, of Whiting Petroleum Corp. Richard H. Frank, President and CEO of Derby Emerging Markets Fund. Former Managing Director at the World Bank Group. Marty Jackley, current Attorney General of South Dakota. Tony Jensen, President and CEO of Royal Gold. Kurt Cost, President, Alpha Natural Resources. Past President of Society of Mining Engineers. Walter Dale Miller, 34th Lieutenant Governor of South Dakota and 29th Governor of South Dakota CMDR. George Phillip, Jr., posthumous winner of the Navy Cross for actions as commander of USS Twiggs and namesake of USS George Phillip. Susan Opp, President of L3 Communications Systems, West Dr. Tim Oswald, Professor of Mechanical Engineering at University of Wisconsin-Madison Dean M. Peterson, Inventor of the Kodak Instamatic Camera and the Point and Shoot Camera Dr. Marcus R. Ross, Paleontologist, Young Earth Creationist, and Professor of Geology at Liberty University Ajmal Shams, Current President of the Afghan Social Democratic Party. Jim Shaw, former mayor of Rapid City, South Dakota, Emery Stefans, president and CEO of Enterprise Analysis Corporation. Anne Grete Strom Eriksson, former Norwegian Minister of Defense and Minister of Health and Care Services. Former mayor of Bergen. Gary R. Vurink, Vice President Manufacturing and Engineering of Dow Chemical Company, Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer, International Justice Mission. Chinedu Osetadin Manibo, former Nigerian Minister of Power and Vice-Chancellor of the University of Nigeria in Sukkah, and Federal University Oye Akiti.